All right, let's go check out the restoration. So, Will, we're in uh, Moss Wright Park mm -hmm. in Goodlettsville, and a tributary. We're standing in the bed of a tributary to Mansker Creek, and you have got this awesome stream restoration project. Yeah. So, um, tell us all the different pieces mm -hmm. and the problem you're trying to solve. Yeah. So you can kind of see what we're attacking here. We've got um, some exposed roots and some pretty severe erosion here. Um, so what we're doing is actually a technique um, that was kind of uh, not created here in Middle Tennessee, but kind of specialized here in Middle Tennessee. Uh, Gary Moody from uh, uh, Middle Tennessee Erosion actually developed this, uh, taught John McFadden through TEC. John McFadden taught me uh, through TEC, and then we've actually had some help through TEC here. So basically what we're doing is we're putting, um, uh, this is like a, a fabric, like a coir or a jute fabric uh, wrapped around um, uh, cedar trees. And it so, looks like a sisal rug that you might put in your house with a really loose weave. Right, right, yeah. So what we're doing is we're trying to get things to, uh, we're uh, anchoring these into the bank. They're going to hold for about four or five years before they degrade. Uh, but before they degrade, you can see over time they start to fill in with sediment. So as this bank continues to erode, uh, it drops sediment. As the stream rises up and then drops down, um, it, it leaves sediment behind. So what we're doing is we're creating an extension of this bank uh, getting it sloped properly, and then we'll come back in and plant native vegetation along the back of it to kind of take over uh, what anchoring it was doing. Yeah, so basically what we do is we take, we get about a 10 foot long um, uh, burrito style revetment that's about 16 inches in diameter, uh, attach it to the toe uh, by uh, duckbill anchors. Right here. Yeah, we'll attach it to the toe with anchors and then these things called uh, gripples. They're actually uh, vineyard supplies. Um, it's pretty cool. We use a mix of vineyard supplies and trapping supplies. So basically what this does is it, it, it really holds it uh, into the bank and, and keeps it from pulling out. If water gets in behind these, they can start to rip off. And if one pulls away, then they all can. So, so the water is rushing down this stream off the, the street and the parking lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, along the way, it's eroding the bank and collecting a lot of sediment. Mm -hmm. And then it hits these spots um, where you've started to rebuild the bank mm -hmm. and it deposits the sediment. Correct. This is a great spot right here. It deposits the sediment on top of the shelf. That sediment sort of falls into the holes in the jute and then plants start to take root. Mm -hmm. so first, of course, first it's small plants and then it's bigger plants. Yeah. And that is as the um, sediment sinks in and the jute over years starts to degrade, um, you've got bigger plants and mm -hmm. trees mm -hmm. stabilizing the bank, right? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can see when erosion starts, it really kind of takes over when, when a bank's exposed. Um, you really need to address it at that point. Um, so yeah, yeah, what we're doing, you know, there was, there's no vegetation up here and just with this kind of deposition and a little bit more uh, flat of a slope, we're already having some little like volunteer grasses and stuff pop up. So yeah, we haven't even planted it yet and we're already having stuff come up, so. Um, so so yeah. Tennessee Environmental Council um, started doing this with volunteers. It's a, it, yeah, it, yeah. It's a way of doing um, stream restoration mm -hmm. at a lower cost. Correct, correct, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of, I, it, it's specialized work, but it kind of has a low barrier of entry. It takes, you know, maybe a half a day getting trained on it, and then you're, you can kind of fit in and, and really help out. Yeah, it's, it's really rewarding, kind of uh, visually, uh, visually satisfying work. You can, you can really tell the difference you've made. Yeah. yeah, so what we do is like every three feet, we drive these duckbill anchors. We'll attach wire to this and then tether it and fasten it to the top anchor. So you can see here, we're kind of working our way down. You can see a lot of exposed roots, um, a lot of unstable stream bank. <clears throat> One thing we should say is that Mansker's Creek is um, yeah, polluted good... with sediment. Mm -hmm. So, um, which means that, you know, as the water is rushing down out of the tributaries down into Mansker Creek, it's carrying a lot of dirt. And that dirt is considered an impairment because when it settles, it destroys habitat. Um, mm -hmm. the, the creatures need these spaces in between rocks to live. And when the dirt settles, 
they don't have that space. So it's an it's an ecological impairment, mm -hmm. and by by installing these cedar revetments and trapping the sediment and stabilizing the stream bank, mm -hmm. we're reducing. Exactly, yeah. So sediment's listed as the number one pollutant in Tennessee. Uh, Mansker Creek is no, or this is a trib, but Mansker is no uh, exception. There's a lot of sediment issues here, and that can be tied back to exposed eroded banks. So yeah, we're, we're, immediate, we're uh, directly addressing, um, addressing this. Um, but so yeah, now we'll, we'll kind of get to see the actual process of driving anchors. So we have Matt Trotsky here, uh, and we'll uh, let's watch him uh, drive an anchor here. We've got these specialized things. Let me see one of these, Matt. They're called uh, duckbill anchors. So basically, what we do, if I can get it out of there, is we uh, see that rod too. We will take the anchor with the rod, so we drive it in. That way, when it gets to the proper depth, we pull that anchor or we pull that rod out. We pull the anchor. The anchor turns and it catches on uh, to roots or to like rocks and compacted soil. So that kind of anchors it. So let's uh, let's check out Matt driving one of these anchors here. So yeah, we're going. We try to get like right to the toe of the bank here. Uh, we really don't want a gap underneath the revetment. So he's laid his bottom two anchors. So now he's going to drive his top anchor here. Perfect. All right, that's We're so anchored cool. in. Yeah, now last step is just to flag it so that we don't lose it when we come out here. But yeah, that's 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 the basic step.